Easter Mass traditionally stars the Pope, but in a rare break in protocol, a senior Vatican official took the stage first to defend and bolster Benedict XVI, who's been under growing pressure because of the priest abuse scandal. Cardinal Angelo Sodano said Catholics will not be influenced by what he called the petty gossip of the moment. He raised a cheer from 50,000 worshippers in a rain-soaked St. Peter's Square with a pledge to the Pope that the Church is with you. Benedict thanked the Dean of the College of Cardinals with a warm embrace. Non di aggiustamenti superficiali. The Pope did not mention the scandal himself, restricting his traditional Easter message to the world to listing troubles ranging from drug trafficking violence to wars in Africa. The Church's strategy may be to publicly keep the Pope at arm's length from the abuse scandal, but well-placed Vatican sources say there are fears that his already less than robust health is being affected by the crisis. And while he did have obvious support from the faithful... I don't think that one man could be held accountable for the actions of, of many. There was ample evidence that the Vatican's defense tactics, mainly a letter apologizing to the Irish Church, aren't working. The most important is uh, to speak the uh, truth and uh, don't deny it. I feel they've mishandled it and, um, you know, it's, it's despicable. A statement by a victim support group said it was an insult to call speaking up about abuse by priests petty gossip. And the Pope's personal priest had to apologize for a sermon on Good Friday, comparing what he called attacks on the church to violence against Jews. The abuse scandal, it seems, is going to keep the spotlight on the Pope, no matter what his supporting cast tries to do. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Rome.